first time in about five years, I would say, the last time I played this game, uh, let alone for the channel, just in general anyway, was, yeah, for about five years ago, and that was also when I ever did my last ever videos on GT Sport. It just never really enticed me enough because it was all online, of course, but with Gran Turismo 7 coming and on the way with uh, well, uh, what I'm hoping is a pretty decent enough co you know career mode campaign to basically play through I thought we'd get back to GT Sport have a go at maybe some of the offline challenges just to get in the spirit of Gran Turismo okay I don't know what is going on I'm, I've, I've been watching many cutscenes and videos since booting the game up it's been about two minutes I mean it does look Lovely to say this is also a previous gen Obviously running on a ps5. So I think it's been uh, I think it is running at 4k. Just think about it Gran Turismo 7 is gonna look even prettier Than this I feel like I'm about to watch it. I feel like I am watching a Star Wars GT short film. That's what's happening. Oh, here we go is it time to race? No, it's not time to race yet. It was maybe time to race. Now it is, and even though we've got Gran Turismo, we're still phoning in Formula One. We're here with a whole grid of Mercedes W8s from 2017. It's uh, so kind of dates when uh, literally I last played this game because this was the big, lo a big last thing I bought on the game. Never even used it that much, but we've got a full grid of 20, I think, a brand's hatch because. That's one of the few tracks I know of that I actually own in the game. And we're just going to see how it goes, really. This is going to go so... It's going to be so weird. I'm on a controller, by the way. PS5 controller, because I don't have a wheel right now for the PS5. I am going to try and get one in time for GT7. But this is going to be very odd. A completely different physics engine to what I'm used to. On a controller as well, which I'm not used to. I mean, I do controller on the Cody's games, but... Not that much. I just punted that guy off great. But I've got to say, this game holds up very nicely to say it's an old gen game. Obviously, I know I think it's been upscaled a little bit because of the PS5. Or performing a little bit better, I guess, for the PS5. But, um, right. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this nice and easy because I don't know what I'm capable of in these cars on the controller. I've also got it on pretty easy AI because I just don't, I just didn't know what I was getting myself into. But let's take it easy. I probably could have taken that corner a bit harder. Feels quite intuitive though, to be fair, even on the controller. That's always one thing I've always felt with GT games. Because um, I've never played GT games on a wheel. Because when, obviously when this came out, I just, I didn't get into it. Obviously I was using wheel in 2017, but I never got into it as much. So all the previous experiences of GT... Because I used to play the campaign a lot on GT4, GT5, I remember, playing so many hours. But that was all on a, on a PS4, PS3 controller. So uh, I never experienced it on a wheel. Um, so I'm looking forward to it on GT7. And I'm looking forward to the fact that it seems to be like a proper old school kind of campaign. Where you have to grind and you know build your way up with cars and stuff like that. So that's going to be cool. Because um, that was the one disappointment that obviously I don't, I don't knock that GT7... It's a, it's a uh, GT Sport. It's a fantastic game. I can see how much of a good game it is from, you know, watching you know, fellow creators and uh, friends of mine, Quadrant members, Steve, uh, Super GT do it. But because it's mostly like all online based and they encourage you to play online, I just never got into it because I just don't care for online. I just don't want to race other people. I want to race AI. I want to race and do like a career mode where I feel like I'm going up the ladder and whatnot. Um, so, oh, oh. Okay, got that a little bit hairy. We're up to P7. Not too bad right now. Locking up a few times, I think. It is Brian's hatch, so I somewhat know it. But it's not still a circuit I know the ins and outs of. So, bear with me. But we're doing well to try and keep up with O'Connor. The Irishman in the yellow. Mercedes here. Can I chuck... Oh, okay, I feel like I could chuck it in a bit harder in sick gear. Going around the outside, though move on the outside wheel to wheel we're gonna get it done the outside i'm have to live in the space so i don't know where he is i don't know where he is oh he's come back at me i don't have the confidence yet to just turn in there around the outside though come on oh i've gone too deep there way too deep is there someone behind me no we're all good we're all good we're all good right this corner i can definitely carry way more speed than he he has been doing but i need to be wary the rear end stepping a bit the oversteer and unlike the F1 game, you tap the grass and it's pretty much ropes. 
Right. Come on. Oh! oh! <laughs> we're good. We're good. <laughs> also, got to also preface that for whatever reason, the PS5 is a bit difficult with getting the audio. Right now, the audio is going through my Elgato 4K capture. But I'm hearing it through a headset plugged into my monitor. And that means I've got no volume control. So I'm being deafened right now. I've only got one ear in. Because it's so deafening. Oh my, what a catch. And also the stability control thing came in there on the bottom right. But my god, that was close. Also, I haven't activated DRS this entire... Is it even available to me around Brands Hatch? I don't know. But we're gaining. We're gaining on Peterson. Down the inside. Up into P5. Not too bad. I'll take P5 right now. And we're easing it in. Good. Aggressive use of that curb. And we're getting the hang of it a little bit, you know? Now we're feeling a bit more confident as we're gaining speed through these corners. Purple sector. Come on. Let's go. Using the cones as a brake. I'm finally realizing the, uh, the brake zones are the cones. Right. Good. Come on. Oh, he's... Oh, mate. Give me the room on the outside. These AI are very aggressive. They're very much like, no, I'm not giving you the room. You're going to have to force it. It's fine by me. We'll force it. Easy. Ooh, okay. I don't like that curb one bit. That curb is deadly. But so far, pretty pleasant experience right now. GT games have always felt pretty good on controller. I always felt it was pretty damn decent. I always enjoyed my experience on controller on Gran Turismo. I think they, they set it up like that. They literally said that in the state of play for Gran Turismo 7. Like, you know, it's important to be, you know, open to everyone. They want it to feel great on a controller. That's why, obviously, the haptics of the new PS5 controller are going to be so important as we go for a lovely little overtake around the outside. Can we go for the switch? Is he still there? He's still on my inside. Easy, we got it done. Up into a podium, you know. It's the last lap as well. Oh, we could get the win if we go fast enough. Could we get the win here in this impromptu Brands Hatch F1 race? Come on. Give chase. Give chase. P1 and 2 are here. It's Marina and uh, Kurisman and, and I think. I don't know. That's a very bad pronunciation. I can never pronounce the names. Right. Oh, they're carrying a bit more speed through there than me. Right. Here, I've gone a bit deep. Let the car roll, though, in fifth gear. Can I... Oh, I can't go for a move on the inside here. Oh, this is going to be so frustrating. Oh, we're just here. Oh, sorry. No, get out of the way. No, no, mate. Oh, trying to go for P2. Didn't work. We're just going to hang on for P3. No, no, don't you dare. We're getting, keeping P3. Oh, I, was, I wanted to go for the glory. Wanted to go for P1. It's not meant to be. But we've got a podium in our return to Gran Turismo for the first time in literally five years. That was my first race on GT Sport in any capacity in, in five years since 2017. That was a lot of fun, you know, as well, to be fair. Like, you know, to say I've not played it, it was quite intuitive, like I said, to pick up. And uh, it makes me, you know, I look forward to actually going into GT7. I didn't, you know, bit of controller, but I'm hoping, like I said, I'll get a wheel in time for that from uh, from my sponsors, Thrustmaster, because they do have uh, a PS5 version uh, of their like kind of you know, flagship wheels. So um, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, you guys are. This is more a video revisiting GT Sport after so long, bit of fun, but also then just to set up and tee up the idea, guys, for you guys that I will be looking to do some Gran Turismo 7 content. Obviously, definitely at launch, I'll be doing at least one video playing it for the very first time. But then after that, I know it's kind of up to you guys in terms of the reaction. My channel was a very, in a very different position when I first played GT Sport. Like now, I feel like I could take the risk of doing at least one extra video on, on Gran Turismo 7 every week, really, on the channel when it comes out. Uh, and I can keep that up and just see if I can maybe grow an audience on, on Gran Turismo or see if there's any of you guys interested enough in it from me. Um, but it's a, it's, a, it's a game in a, in a kind of universe of a game that I, I used to actually play a lot of in 4, in 5. And then it kind of just dropped off and I've not really been a part of, you know, the community, let's say, or just the people that play it really on YouTube and whatnot. But I'd like to get back into it, um, you know, because it looks gorgeous. Even this looks gorgeous, but GT7 looks mega. And uh, I really uh, hope to sing some, uh, sing some hours into it. But 
Anyway, guys, I'll stop rambling. It's been a short, sweet video. Just playing this game after five years just to get in the mood for Gran Turismo. If you guys did enjoy it and you want to maybe see GT7 content, then hit that like button and let me know in the comments below if you'd like that, you know, see me playing the campaign and whatnot. Um, and maybe we can also do a series where we look into the online stuff. I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see. But the, the future is exciting. March is going to be an exciting month. Uh, with a new racing game which is going to be pretty damn big so yeah that's pretty cool but if you're new around here do get subscribed for some gt7 content if you like the sound of that i'll see you guys around i hope you enjoy the rest of your day goodbye